hello everyone welcome back to jazz shares if you're new here hey i post videos every week if you're watching this on youtube and if you're listening to this on any of my podcast platforms i post every week now today i wanted to discuss about something that has gotten very very popular and it's spirituality especially new age spirituality and i wanted to give my opinion on my journey within my spirituality and my beliefs and what i've gathered throughout these past years i would say so yeah let's get right into it i feel like i've always been spiritual um and when i mean that so i am not i'm not religious i believe in the, the higher power not saying that i don't believe in god i don't believe in this or that i do i do believe that there is a god and i do believe that there is many gods i don't like to limit um my beliefs or limit certain things because in all actuality we don't know so i'm not here trying to offend anybody this is through my experiences my beliefs you know if you're here i hope that you are open-minded but if you're not open-minded you can just get out so i had my very first curious thought when i was young i don't even remember what age i was but i was very young and it was the thought of who was the first person on this earth and i asked my sister and she gave me the answer adam and eve and then from there i got put into um, sunday school started to go to church and everything like that i did feel disconnected while i was in church um maybe it was because so i'm k radian and it was a k radian church and i understand it i don't really speak it so there was a whole disconnect there from the jump and it was just boring for me i didn't really like it not saying church isn't my thing i've gone to other churches um within these past years and it has really impacted my life it has made me cry like i am very open-minded towards certain things so yeah but at that time it wasn't for me um and then years go by and everything like that and it wasn't until 2018 i believe was when i really had my conscious spiritual awakening and it was more so taking charge within my life that's when it started you know just questioning the certain beliefs i had questioning you know if i'm living for me or if i'm just living for other people and just really wanting to grow myself and love myself even more and just experience the world on my own terms and then within that i started to get epiphanies i started to become more curious i started working on myself more and now we're here <laughs> Um, and I wanted to share a story of when I had, when I was on my journey, when I was a beginner within my spirituality and how damaging it was because, you know, within this new age spirituality and, you know, angel numbers and just all these things, I let that impact my life, impact my decisions. I'm not saying I don't believe in angel numbers, don't believe in crystals, don't believe this and that and the third, astrology. I do in some form. I ha I now gained a different perception when it comes to all those things. So when I started to get into it and everything like that, let's start with angel numbers. So angel numbers i don't really remember how i got into it i think i started seeing like people post about it and i searched it up and everything and you know 
and when I started to see certain angel numbers, it did really resonate with me. It resonated with my life. It did guide me to where I am right now within certain opportunities that came about. I was more aware when I took on those messages and everything like that. But it wasn't until I believe the summertime, I really started to rely on angel numbers and I really started to base my decisions off of what I was viewing from the internet about angel numbers. Um, I, I let it, instead of listening to my mind and listening to my heart, I remember there was this one situation, which I'm not going to get into, but there was this one situation that got me out of character. I searched up this angel number, went on this random website, and what it was saying basically kind of related to what I was going through. I don't know if I made it up in my mind to correlate it with, those, with that situation. Within what it was saying, I let it lead to i let it lead into something that i wouldn't say i'm proud of myself for doing but obviously everything is a learning lesson and i do believe that everything happens for a reason so it led me into a situation that got me out of my character and from in there from there i realized that i was letting these angel numbers take control of my life. I was getting so deep into this spirituality, this new age shit, that I wasn't really being true to who I was. You know, I was relying on the outside to give me the answers when in all actuality, I had and I have all the answers. We all have the answers within us. Now, not saying we can't look for guidance, not saying we can't rely on certain things, but we can, but knowing from within is better from taking on what something said on the internet, because who knows if it's real fake or not because we're getting all of this from the internet and when and i didn't do any research i just clicked on the website and just you know if it aligned with me if i felt right about it then i went on with it but that's just one example and from now and now on i the way i look at angel numbers you know i see it i'm like oh i notice it and then i just examine what's going on with around my environment what i'm thinking and just move on with my day instead of like looking at the meaning and basing it off of a certain situation i'm going through and this that the third since like the whole pandemic started a lot of people have been awakening which is amazing and you know they took on the spirituality they took on the spiritual journey and just everything like that and now it has become a trend and that's what spirituality isn't it's not a trend it's a belief you know it's a type of lifestyle where you're committing to yourself and the higher power you know you're committing to what you believe is in alignment with who you are in the world around you and i believe spiritualism has many different meanings we all go through different experiences within our lives we all go through certain situations that help us become the person that we need to be and you know by relying on certain things that we don't even know if it's true or not we don't even know the full story we know this much this is how much we know about the world around us and everything in that nature so right now within my journey i'm taking everything with a grain of salt you know i'm taking all this information seeing how it applies to my life seeing it if it if it aligns with me and 
my beliefs and everything like that and I and I came to a space of not wanting to know and rather just living life because because the last couple of years I've been just in the state of not being present within myself and the world around me and just being present in the future and in the past and what is bound to happen rather than just watching everything come together and even with tarot reading cards and everything like that i used to be so hardcore on it i would watch videos almost every single day and just wanting to know what's coming up within my life and you know my relationships and that also took a big toll on my mindset and caused certain issues within myself that i was creating that wasn't even happening and just everything like that and not saying that i don't believe in tarot you know i still do i believe that tarot can be a great way if you are feeling if you if you really need deep guidance and you don't know where to turn to i feel like tarot can be a good way to go for that because tarot has helped me a lot as well when i was at a very very low point and it gave me light it gave me guidance it gave me hope so i'm not saying tarot is a bad thing i'm just saying don't rely on it when you rely on these things when you rely on certain things that may be true may not be true you start to notice that you're relying on the external and you know like i said before everything is temporary ideas are temporary situations are temporary beliefs are temporary information is temporary things always get changed things always get altered so really focusing and being present and you know doing your research that's what like doing your research is so important knowing where you are getting your information from and what's trending and what's not trending i believe things that are trending are just i could go so deep with this like things that are trending i feel like I don't want to say it's not true but there's definitely mask within trends and there's definitely a side of truth and a side of untruth when it comes to trends and obviously in particular I'm talking about spirituality you know trending as in like what you're wearing like fashion wise music wise that does not really apply to what i'm saying right now i'm just talking about spiritualism this is my belief and it might and it's obviously going to change and my, and i'm obviously within this journey of figuring out who i am knowing who i am rediscovering who i am i'm obviously going to become more aware more informative when it comes to these things um but that's that's what i wanted to discuss for today and just my giving you guys my experience and my knowledge and right now i'm in this journey of you know still figuring out things in my life still figuring out this spirituality and how it pertains to my life and everything like that but just you know my one advice would be is to do your research all these new age things yeah it's it can be exciting it can be you know interesting to get into but really pay attention to what's being said what's not being said how people are doing it and everything like that um but i accept everyone as they are and if you are getting into this new age spirituality go for it 
I believe like I went through that journey because I needed to go through that journey if I never went through that journey I wouldn't be who I am today I wouldn't be here sitting with you all sharing my experience with you all today so don't judge yourself don't don't judge yourself don't force things just just live life as you know you're moving towards your destinations as you're moving towards your goals and experiences and you know just grow from it and learn from it and you know love yourself within the process from it and just have fun and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will catch y'all next week bye